Terence Bud Crawford, look like all your hard work and all these years of putting in these hard training camps, no drinking, no smoking, no partying, no doing nothing but making babies and training. It looks like it's all paid off, my guy. Because for the 41 fight, super welterweight, WBA champion, 39 of your fights were just under the radar. No one cared, no one knew, no one could see only us hardcore boxing fans knew what was going on could see that you was a pound for pound great could see that you were worth more than you were actually being credited for in the community of the boxing fraternity and the casuals weren't even paying no attention but now they are because the man like turkey Allah shake came along and said yo big man you know what i mean your favorite fun you know I might not be your favourite fan, but guess what? I'm your richest fan. You understand? I got the peas to make sure that you get paid, my guy. So hear what? I hear say you and top rank split up. Come check me, my guy. I got some peas for you, you boy. What you want to fight? Majumov. Come, I'm going to set up a whole card for you to fight this guy. Fight Majumov. Beat Majumov. Get that belt and then the sky's the limit for you, my guy. I'm going to get that Canelo fight for you. Want to fight Canelo, isn't it? You want to fight Saul Canelo Alvarez, don't it? Don't worry, my guy. I got that for you. But guess what? He fights Majumov, he beats Majumov, and the Canelo fight does not happen as much as the Sheikh is saying, look, Canelo, I got bare peas for you, here, bro. Ain't you got prize fighters? I got prize for you, bro. But Canelo was like, listen, I make prizes. I do this. I don't need you. I got prizes. And I don't need to fight no little man because it don't make sense to me. I go and fight the little man. I beat the little man. Everyone said, all you done was beat the little man. So I go fight the little man and the little man beats me. Everyone's going to be like, right, you got beat by a little man. So it's a lose-lose for me. I don't need it, bruv. Give me 300 mil and I might consider it. Turk was like, yo, ewa, ewa, ewa. Gwe, gwe my yo. Me no need you. About 300. Gwe, about 300. Me no need you. Hey, Terence, we're going to sort something else out, bruv. Them man, they're talking some silly money. Let's sort something else out. So Terence was like, well, I don't know. I don't know, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. These times, Tiafimo Lopez, for some reason, has jumped out of his pram, talking all this smack, talking all this stuff, saying all these claims, trying to get attention. Bud said, you're attention seeker, Ray, but I don't need to talk about you, bruv. Well, you're nothing to me. Hey, what? Hey, what? Fight Majumov, beat Majumov, and I might consider fighting you, bruv. Do you understand? But as it stands, Bud could turn into a three-time undisputed champion within two fights. He could fight Sebastian Fondora for his two belts, which is the WBO and the WBC. He's already got the WBA, so he'll be unified with three. And then you've got Tim Zhu fighting Bakram Murtazaliev for the final belt which is the ibf belt and once a day whoever comes out victorious of that fight will then be encouraged by turkey Allah sheikh to fight bud in the undisputed fight and dash bare money at the man them and the man them are definitely going to say yes because the one thing i know about tim zoo is that he's always trying to fight the best fights all the time all the time he's his last fight was against Sebastian Fundora where his head got opened up and he was bleeding profusely, terribly, all over the place. Most man's going to be like, oh, I can't go into no hard fight after that fight. I need a tune-up fight to see if everything's okay and all my cuts are all in shape. Not Tim Zoo. Tim Zoo's like, listen, just get me back on this title fighting. I just need to get my titles back. I need to get some sort of title because I had titles. So I need that back. What do you say? That IBF is vacant and that Murtazali ever wants it, as well as me. Me and Bakram should do this fight. And he's going to go and do this fight now. And he's fighting before Fundora. These times he had the big gash in his head and Fundora won the fight. But he's coming back and fighting before Fundora for a title. This is how you know this man is serious. So, okay. I don't know who's going to win that fight. I'll have to go into that when that fight's coming up. But it's going to be Bakram Mertazaliev against Tim Zhu for the IBF. Crawford and... Sebastian Fundora, that fight is actually being, is in the works right now to be made. And when I see Turkey in this thing, I'm like, it's going to get done. It's going to get done. But because it's PBC, it's a PBC fighter, then any spanner can get thrown in the works. Any spanner can get thrown in the works. So I would prefer to see Bud go and get this undisputed situation on the wraps. 
He's been going back and forth with Tia Fimo Lopez on Twitter talking about, oh, um, Tia Fimo's talking about, oh, um, me versus you would be the modern day Sugar Ray Leonard against Duran. And, oh, I'll fight you for free. And he doubled down on it. I'll fight you for free. Duran said, you said that, you know, those are your words. He's like, yeah, I will fight you for free. I will fight you for free. And all that this rubbish. Like, who fights for free? That's some jolting, bruv. Don't chat rubbish, bruv. I don't know what's wrong with Teofimo Lopez, but I really, 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 really want him to get this Bud fight. Because I want Bud to spark this guy and sleep him. Make him know, say, yo, there's levels and your mouth get you into some stuff that your actual technique and your levels can't get you out of, bruv. Spark him, please, bud. Please, I would really love that fight to happen. We'll see if that happens in the future. He's chasing Canelo. Teofimo's pretending to chase him. I don't even believe Teofimo, to be fair. I don't even believe Teofimo because he's been ducking bear man that want to fight him for years. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. But we would love to see the undisputed third time. I think that's a company of one. I can't think of anyone who's been undisputed in three different weight classes. I, I'm going to have to do more research about this. But I think that he is in the company of one if this happens. We'll talk about this more as more information comes. But that is what's going on at the moment. I will see you guys in the next video.